We begin the show right here in Lagos, a movie series that throws more light on the struggles of the less privileged persons in the society, titled My Lagos Diaries, premiered right here in Lagos. Let's enjoy all the sights and the sounds. An inspiring movie series and first-hand experience of the challenges people face trying to survive in the city of Lagos, titled My Lagos Diaries, was recently premiered in the state. Movie lovers stormed the venue of the premiere which witnessed a large turnout of people. My Lagos Diaries' ultimate goal is to sensitize the general public about the struggles of the underprivileged persons in the society while providing an opportunity for interested individuals and organizations to support them. I'll collect my money. Since they don't pay me, I'll collect it. Since they don't want to pay me, this is you. I'll collect it by force. When I came to Lagos, I was staying at the Babbage. A lot of people just now see the fame and glory, but do not know when you were going through those thick paths, when you were going through the tunnel of emptiness and the hopelessness of the journey. They only now look at your success story and forget about all of that. Just as we can easily forget the past of Ifoma and people who come to the wedding without what a beautiful girl. But if they see what, which is why all these pictures are showing, this would have been the story. But the transformation and intervention has changed it. That's what it's all about. The premiere launched the 13-week series, which will begin airing online as well as on the television by the end of the month. Things are going gaga now. I have just to stop. The project actually embodies the message that we believe in: the message of hope, of redemption, of transformation and restoration and so you find people who have potential people who have things within them gifts and talents but what they lack is the opportunity so in a sense the pictures we created that concept to depict what could have happened if we did not have the gift of opportunity on the privilege of either education or a job or someone who helped so in a sense, there are people out there who would do much, much more if only they had the gift of opportunity. The premiere also featured a private viewing of Reflections, a unique photo exhibition by Kelechi Amadiobi, where he used the notable celebrities as models to depict thought-provoking poverty scenarios. A lot of times, um, people get into these things with circumstances, you know, that put them in a bad place. And a lot of these people are not even knowledgeable enough to know that these things are that addictive. Um, I think the best thing is outreaches like this that could tr help pull people out of a hole. Um, first of all, we, we, had to, we worked as a team and we, we had to look, up for, look out for people that had challenges and we saw the extreme cases. So from that we could put up the makeup and the costume and everything together. Though it was, it was really emotional and you know, for me personally it made me think about, yeah, it made me think about, you know, what, what could have been if we didn't have the opportunity to make it. Um, we sort of thought of creating a story of the lives of celebrities, the ends of both worlds, of what they could have been versus who they are now. 
and so essentially the idea is to sort of portray a good story to the society to create awareness um, about the societal issues and societal ills that we have and how people can support you know the foundation and the work that we do so I mean it's a great work to see um, the communities that we live in people living in the poor destitute and uh, on conditional areas and giving them a good life for hope so I think it's a good one that's what that's what I will take out from this giving people hope For the producers of the series, they hope the project will have the desired impact as they call on individuals as well as corporate organizations to join in the struggle towards reducing the impact of some of the social challenges in the society. Things are going gaga now, just to stop.